Te brakate ya hawa, brakate ya wishai, brakate ya hawa, brakate ya wishai, brakate ya hawa, brakate ya wishai. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh for Hashem Yahushai, for Hashem Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well like written in stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams and the four kind of earth, pushing the gospel and sincerity in truth. Shalom. Alright, just want to do a little commentary off of this video. You know, this is um, Shaka Yah, right? Um, yeah, Shaka Yah, he was on the apostle them live stream yesterday. And you know, it was going back and forth, and and clearly with the uh, apostle Kabar say, you know, you know he's uh, he unstable, you know, and I watched this video, you know, between forty five, for into forty five minutes, right, and he unstable, right, he unstable, and he not he he, he a lot of pride, right, he have a lot of pride because if you don't understand something, or if you're not seeing. Something that these men see in the scriptures, we're supposed to do, supposed to humble yourself and take 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 advice from the apostle. The apostle said, "Go on a fast, you know, repent and go on a fast." You know, he said in response to James apostle, Yahweh Shai was not Solomon, and I can I can break down through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. I can break down um, Second Samuel chapter twelve, no Salaki Second Samuel chapter seven. Verse 13, and I'm gonna bring precept on precept and show you that King Solomon was Yahweh. King Solomon is Yahweh Shai because the spirit that was in King Solomon is the same spirit as in Yahweh Shai, right? But you can't see it because the Most High, the Most High didn't reveal it to you, right? You understand? The Most High didn't reveal it to you. So I'm gonna run this little this clip here when you breaking down, when you going into um. Second Samuel chapter 7, right? Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. Come on. And we're not going to go into the history and go all deep. Like I said, we're going to try to make this class brief, you know, as quick as possible. If brothers want more information on Solomon, is Yahweh was not Solomon, I got a few classes up there on, on the YouTube page, all right, on true disciple Israelites or uh, strong tower Israelites. All right. There's a few classes on there that we went into more detail on 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 the understanding of Yahweh Shai was not Solomon. Mm. Period. But let's continue on. Read that. Twelve this, verse. This is the book of Second Samuel, chapter seven, verse twelve. Come on. And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. Right. So yeah. when you read the word ever, and we don't have time for this. Brothers, do your research, man. Mm -hmm. The word ever don't always mean ever. The scripture say he would cast Israel off forever. Is Israel cast off forever? No. So not all the time. Come on, man. That's why I say brothers pick and choose what they want when it comes to the scriptures. You have to take everything into consideration when you're reading the Bible. Just don't try to sway things your way because you want you feel like it's talking about this. Be fair and balance. <laughs> Be fair and balance when it comes to the scriptures, man. We know damn well, you brothers know damn well when you read the Bible, when the word says ever, it doesn't necessarily mean forever, ever, forever. Continue. Verse 13. He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Come on. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him. Now with stop the at the 14th verse. Before right. we get into chastising with the stripes of men and all of that, the 14th verse says, I will be his father and he shall be my son. Notice what it says. What does the word shall mean? Future tense. Say it again. Future tense. So wait a minute. So when Yahweh Shai was created during the time of Genesis, <laughs> why you think, why you think Yahweh Shai said, when he gave up the ghost, he said, glorify me like I had, like the glory that I had with you from the beginning. It's in the book of John. Hmm. Why do you think that was said? Because the glory that was given to Yahweh Shai was all the way from the beginning, man, right. before the world was even made. Mm -hmm. So what the hell are brothers reading, man? Brothers want Solomon to be Yahweh Shai so much. Tell me why. 
Why? I want to know why, Toha. I want to know why do brothers believe, no, not what brothers believe, because that's their own personal thing. But why would you think that Yahweh had to sin as Solomon and Adam? Why? So you see this 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 um this brother is all about emotion, right? Because you can't see it, you cannot see it in the scripture, so it's all about emotion, right? It's all about, it's, this is not about emotion, this is understanding. You understand? And the, uh, as the apostle say, Apostle Gobar say you're double minded. And the say they say you need to repent and go on a fast because you can't see it, right? So let me just go through um Second Samuel, right? And get and just you know, just edify the church of Yahweh Yahweh. This is all about the this is the Allah for the for the elect, right? The elect will be of quick understanding, right? And they will understand it. it it's saying that um the word forever don't always be forever, right? And you use your reference when the most I see in cast Israel away forever. Yeah, they were speaking for a, a, a long period of time. But this forever in Daniel Salaki in 2 Samuel chapter 7, right? Speak this forever speaking for forever, right? Perpetual, right? And we're gonna prove it. Right? This is 2 Samuel chapter 12. 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. And when and when thy day be fulfilled, this was the prophet Nathan speaking to King David. And when thy day be fulfilled, and thou slept with with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. Establish, right? You go into this word establish, right? You're going to establish his kingdom, right? So we can see through the scripture who kingdom is forever, right? Um, we say establish, right? Go to this word establish. Right. Strong's H thirty-five fifty-nine. Coon. Coon. All right. It's um prepare, establish, ready, stop, stable, um, fix. Okay, um it's said to be formed, to be stable, to be established. All right. Um Okay, okay, to be established, right? So, so you're gonna establish, you're gonna establish this kingdom, right? Right, okay. Right, okay, to establish, right? So let me read this back again, right? It's um. Right to make stable, right? So it's um sec second Samuel chapter seven verse twelve. And when thy days be filled, fulfilled, and thou slept with thy father, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowel, and I will establish his kingdom. Right, verse thirteen. And he, and he shall build an house for my name, and I will est and I will um and I will establish. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. So this was this was this was King Solomon. The most I say you can um he can establish his throne, his, his throne of his kingdom forever. Right? So we go into this word. Right? We go into this word forever. Right. Right, this here. Strong's H fifty seven sixty nine. Olam. Olam. Right. And it said long duration. Right. Um forever. Antiquity. Um forever, everlast everlasting, evermore perpetual, all ancient. Right? It's um Forever, always, continuous as ex uh, existence, perpetual. You know, perpetual is, uh, you know, it's everlasting, right? 
it's an indefinite or unending future eternity right so we know this kick this this throne is forever everlasting throne right we know there's a there's an everlasting throne because Yahweh Yahweh is a man of his word he's, he's not a man that he should lie right he's not a man that he should lie right um so let me go to um second peter chapter one verse verse um verse 10 he said wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and your election sure for if he do these things he shall not fail fall so that he shall he shall never fall for so an entrance shall be minister unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, everlasting kingdom, right? An everlasting kingdom. You understand? So we said, we said, we said about about King Sal about King about King Solomon, right? Second Samuel chapter seven verse thirteen. He said, "He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish his throne of his kingdom forever." Right, and this we say about Yahweh Shai here. Right, second um, Peter chapter one verse um, verse eleven. He said, "For for so an entrance shall be minister unto you, abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai." Right, everlasting kingdom. But look, look at this here. Let me go to Luke. Let me go to Luke, right? Luke uh, 1, and we can start from um, um, verse, um, we can start at verse 26. Luke chapter 1, verse 26, he said, And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from Yahweh unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Verse 27, To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin name was Mary. And and the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord Yahweh is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Right? So like here. Right? <clears throat> what twenty nine? And when she saw him she was troubled at the saying at at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of situation this should be was thirty and the angel said unto her fear not mary for thou hast found favor with yahweh verse 31 and behold thou shalt thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahweh Shai, right? Right? Verse 32, he said, He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord Yahweh, power, shall give unto him the throne of his father David. The throne of his father David. Right, they're speaking about who King Solomon is the Hawashai in the reincarnation. The Bible speaks about reincarnation, reincarnation is biblical, right? The same spirit was in, 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 in King Solomon, it's the same spirit in the Shai, right? This is uh back in Second Samuel, right? Second Samuel chapter, chapter 7, verse 12, and when thy days be full be fulfilled and thou slept with thy fathers mean they were gonna die right i will set up thy seed after thee which shall proceed out of thy bowel and i will establish his kingdom right his kingdom there was king solomon right king solomon right so we go back to um, luke right go back to luke right and it says, um, Luke chapter 1, verse 32, And he shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord power shall give unto him the throne of his father David. 
Let me tell King David that he can, he can establish 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 the, the seed the seed um, throne and kingdom forever. So this is the same thing. This is the same thing the angel saying to Mary. He shall be great and shall be called is called the son of the highest. And the Lord Yahweh power shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Right? The throne of his father David. Right? The throne of his father David. Right? This is uh, Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. He said, He said, The book of the generation of Yahweh Shai, Amashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. This is this is straight, straight cut. You know, this is this is straight to the point. Right? You understand? This is straight to the point. So let me go back. So who was the son? Who who, who was the son of who was the son of David? King Solomon. Who was the son of Abraham? Isaac was the son of Abraham. Right? So let me go. Let me go back to let me go back to Luke. Right? Uh, this is um, Luke chapter 33, Luke, so like Luke chapter 1 verse 33, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end, right? So we go into this word forever here now, right? So we back again before going into the word forever. Luke chapter 1 verse 33, and he which is the Hawashai shall reign over the house of Jacob, which is, which is the twelve tribe of Israel right forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end right let me go back in samuel <laughs> second samuel chapter 7 verse 13 he shall build a house for my name which is king solomon and i will establish his throne of his kingdom forever right so we go back to luke remember verse 32 he said he said the throne of his father David, right? <laughs> he said the throne. Let me read back again. Luke chapter one verse thirty-two. He shall be great, and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord Yahweh power shall give unto him, which is Yahweh Shai. And the Lord Yahweh shall give unto him. Speaking about this, speaking about Yahweh Shai, right? Remember this, speaking about Yahweh Shai. The angel Gabriel given. Be a really prophecy. This speaking about Yahweh Shai, right? Luke chapter one verse thirty two. And he shall be great, and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord Yahweh power shall give unto him, who him Yahweh Shai, the throne of his father David. Right, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Right. So we go into this word forever right then you go into the word forever there right <clears throat> Ion Strong's G one sixty five I own I own it's a forever and unbroken age perpetuity perpetuity of time eternity right go to this word perpetuity right and this word a perpetuity right perpetuity perpetuity so lucky like perpetuity right it's um the state or quality of lasting forever the state or quality of lasting forever you understand perpetuity right let me go back to <laughs> yo this is yo this is beautiful right so the kingdom is the kingdom is forever right and look they say if we go into daniel right this is daniel chapter right this is daniel chapter 7 verse 13 i saw in the night vision and behold one like the son of Son of man, which which is Yahweh Shai, came with the clouds of heaven with his chariot, and came to the ancient of days, which is Yahweh, 
and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nation, and language should serve him. His dominion is everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away. And his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Right? We go into this word everlasting. Right? Go into this word everlasting. Right? If you can't see this here, the most I didn't give it to you. Right? The mystery was given to the prophets. Right? So if you can't see this mystery, it wasn't given to you. Right? That's please. Strong's H, 5957. A lamb. A lamb. A lamb. Right? Perpetuity. Right? Forever. This word perpetuity is forever. Right? We get it again. Right? Perpetuity. 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 Right? It said a state or quality of long, of lasting forever. Right? The state or quality of lasting forever. Right? This is the same thing we see in Daniel here. Right? Forever. Perpetuity. Forever. Right? Forever. Let me read this back again in Daniel 7 and 14. Right? So if you can't see this, it wasn't given to you. So you fight. You, you fighting. You fighting against Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh. And you adding on to his word. Right? This is Daniel chapter 7 verse 14. And they, and they was giving him dominion. Who him? Yahweh Shai. And glory. And a kingdom. Which is everlasting. Kingdom is everlasting. That all people, nation, and language shall serve him. So you heathens going to be slave to us. His dominion is, is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Right? And we go back to Daniel again. Uh, Samuel again. It's the second Samuel chapter 7 verse 12. Right? He said, And when thy days be filled, this is the prophet Nathan, uh, Nathan speaking to King David, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy sea, which is King Solomon, after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowel, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build my house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Forever. So you, this wasn't given to you. This mystery, the mystery, the gospel, the kingdom wasn't given to you. It was re it was revealed it was revealed to the prophets, right? That they alone they alone could see this. You can't see it because it wasn't given to you, right? It wasn't it wasn't given to you, right? So you fighting you fighting a losing battle. It wasn't given to you. That's why you can't see it. Then you're proud. The apostle tell you to to go on a, go on a, go on a fast. Repent and go on a fast. This is Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai Power, will do nothing but reveal it, his secrets, unto his servants, the prophet. Right? Yahweh Shai is King Solomon. There's a secret that revealed to who? The servants, the prophet. Right? It, this re it revealed to those, the servants, the prophets. Right? But you can't see it. So you're denying it. Right? You're not humbling because you can't see it, so you're denying it. Right? This is, uh, let me get this one in Colossians. Right? So you're being proud. You know, you're being proud. Right? Because you can't see it. So you, you add into the scriptures. Right? Uh, you add in. You you add into the um to the scriptures, right? Uh, this is Colossians chapter one, verse twenty five. He said, "Wherefore I am made a minister according to the dispensation of Yahweh, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of Yahweh, even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generation." 
but now is made manifest to his saints who the prophets it is made manifest to the prophets that we just read in um, Amos 3 and 7 you understand this would this would manifest so if you can't see it the most I blind you right the most I blind you right the most I blind you you understand this is Romans chapter 11 verse 7 what then Israel had not obtained that which he seek it for but the election the elect had obtained it and the rest were blinded so the most I blind you according as it is written the power had given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see so you can not see it when when the apostle you can not see it when the apostle them say that Yahweh Shai you know King Solomon was Yahweh Shai because the spirit of Yahweh Shai was in King Solomon you can not see it you cannot see it right and Yahweh Yahweh is he who control all men thoughts all men step this movie is all about yeah it's all about Yahweh bashing Yahweh Shai and you can't see that right you can't see that right you cannot see that right this is um Romans chapter 11 verse 8 according as it is written Yahweh had given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day and that's why you can't see it there's an up you prove you prove a pasago barra you right you are you you are an unstable man right because you ask question in the comment board and they give you the answer and you still come and going off right so you're unstable so the most i blind you right yahweh bashem yahweh shai blind you uh, verse 19 and david said let their table be a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them so this is a this is a stumbling block for you right this is a stumbling block for you you saying yahweh shai was not king solomon there's a stumbling block to you right you understand king david said make your table a snare so you're blind you can't see right you can't see and you're proud right and you're proud so you know Obis, this lesson was edifying. Because there's nothing. Obis lesson was edifying. You know, want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well are written in stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the four candy who push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. You know, Shalom.